Sticker time, sticker time. Mm, it's a wood thing. Freitas wood design. Here's a cool one. Black Widow Woodworks. Hashtag Vance Maker. That's Tim Sway's son. He's five years old. He reminds me a lot of Wyatt when he was that age. Justin sent me two stickers. He plays in a band in Raleigh, North Carolina called Modena. And he says he used to play in this 80s hair metal tribute band called Headbanger. Speaking of hair metal bands, back in the 1980s, I saw a double bill with Twisted Sister and Rat. How many of you remember Rat? Thanks for all the stickers, everybody. And don't forget, if you want a Woodworking for Mere Mortals sticker, just send me a self-addressed stamped envelope. I still have lots of stickers. Great Christmas gifts, stocking stuffers even. I feel like I'm not standing in the right place. It's, you know why? It's because I didn't do a Mere Minutes last week. Let me lower this. Maybe that'll help a little bit. Okay. Forgot what I was doing. Okay, let me catch up on some things. First of all, the bed project I did a couple of weeks ago, that was a real popular project. A lot of people really like being able to just build something with handheld power tools. And I'm gonna be doing more of those kind of projects in the new year. Probably the most common question I got asked about that project was, how many beds do I have? <laughs> why, why do I need another mattress? I don't, that's it, three. I have three bedrooms. I made the Murphy bed and then the bed for the master bedroom, the big one. And then we have the third bedroom, which is Wyatt's room, and he's had this old clunky bed for a long time. So we wanted to upgrade that, so I asked Casper. Which, Casper doesn't usually give out three mattresses to their hosts, but I kind of pitched them on the idea that the first one was the mechanical bed, the second one was you know, a big, huge piece of furniture, which was in the third bed would just be a super simple one that anybody could make. So they liked that idea and it worked out really well. But that's it for the mattresses. I don't have any more room for any more mattresses. <laughs> Wait a second, maybe I got a little extra room in the shop here though. <laughs> Yesterday's project, the Christmas countdown calendar, uh, also known as an advent calendar. In the past, I've called them advent calendars, but I don't think that people are as aware of that term as just a countdown calendar. Let me go get it. A few people made the suggestion that the door should open and then you could put a treat or a candy in there every day. And that is, that's one of those ideas that when I hear it, I think, God, why didn't I think of that? That would have been perfect. So if you're gonna make one of these, make the door open. The other thing a couple of people noticed was when I put the trim on here, it makes it hard to pull these out. I didn't quite account for the thickness of that. You can still pull them out, but really the easiest way is just to tip it over a little bit. When it's on a, a table or something, it's not too hard to do that. One thing about this project is my plans are a little bit different because I started to modify this as I was building it and I didn't adjust it on the plans. It doesn't really matter, but for one thing, I just used the quarter inch plywood for the roof on the plans. I had half inch and I, I didn't think that was necessary. So really the only half inch plywood is on the front and then the back and underneath in the plans, I have a separate base that this would set, sit on. I thought it would be tippy, but it's not. And so I don't think that's necessary. So I put these little felt pads on there. Oh, and a couple of weeks ago, I posted a picture on Facebook of this weird outlet that is in my bedroom. I didn't know what it was, and apparently it's been there since this house was built in 1955, 1956. And so I posted it, and there's actually an outlet museum. So I have a museum piece in my house. I don't know if it's still wired up or not, but up in the attic of this house it is just a mess of wires that are no longer in use, and Someday this whole house may just poof. Also wanted to share Wyatt's first article in the Fish Wrap, the newspaper that he is writing for at UC Santa Cruz. It's a, it's a satire newspaper. It's kind of like The Onion. But if you want to check out that article, I'll have a link down below. It's, I think it's pretty funny. Other things I wanted to mention, Friday the 13th video game. I am not a gamer, but I am gonna buy that game when it comes out. It was on a Kickstarter campaign, and it sounds like this thing is gonna be just totally awesome. They had videos with Kane Hodder and Tom Savini did the special effects in this series. So it, it sounds like it's gonna be a really cool video game. I used to play the one on the NES. That it was a really dorky Friday the 13th game. This one sounds like a good one. Maybe I'll start doing Let's Play videos, but they'll, they'll only be of that one game. Oh, and speaking of horror franchises, I was kind of sad to hear that Gunnar Hansen died. Gunnar Hansen 
Hansen played Leatherface in the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And I think he was in the sequel too. Big, huge, hulking guy. And everybody says he's, he's like the nicest guy you would ever meet. And a little update on Maker's Care. I posted a playlist of all 79 of the videos that people submitted. So I'll, I'll include a link to that too. So yeah, if you want to do some, some Maker's Care plain video binge watching, have at it. And also I sent out the uh, prize announcements for everybody who won prizes in that. I haven't, there's only one person I haven't heard back from, um, so I'll, I'll contact her again this week. Hey, we saw the new James Bond movie last week, Spectre. You know, I, I always enjoy James Bond movies. I haven't seen them all, but every time I see one, I really don't understand what's going on in it. Do you understand the plots of James Bond movies? It's fun. It's a fun movie to see. I think I liked Casino Royale better, but the movie I just saw last night that you've got to see, especially before it, it leaves theaters, because it, it'll, you'll have to find it at probably an indie theater or smaller theaters, is uh, it's just called Room. I wasn't sure if I wanted to see it because it sounded kind of depressing. It's about a woman and her son who have been held captive. The son has spent his entire life, up to five years old, never leaving a room, a 10 by 10 foot room with no windows and just a small skylight. If that kid doesn't get nominated for an Academy Award, something's wrong. He was really good. It's one of those movies that'll really stick with you. It's kind of thought provoking. And I, even today, I just keep thinking about it and different ramifications of it. I think it's one of the best films of the year. I would rank it in my top three along with Inside Out, Straight Outta Compton, and, <clears throat> and Room. Well, I got a few weeks of videos left. I'm really looking forward to taking the last three weeks of this year off. I, I feel like I really need a break. And I'll see you next week. I got Christmas ornaments coming up next Friday.